give him a round of applause just to encourage him to start off with. Lovely, thank you so much. It's always nice to come onto an applause. So in the sketch, we saw that Jack really wanted a Ferrari, um, but he wasn't old enough. Despite his appearance, he wasn't old enough to drive. And uh, God being a good father uh, isn't going to give us something that we don't need or that isn't good for us. And Jack had many things. He already had many, many things, but wasn't thankful for the things he had because they were just things he had, and he probably forgot about them until his friends reminded him of them, saying, do you have this, and do you have this? Well, maybe you should be thankful of that. So I would like you all to have a think um, of all that you have and how did you get it. So have a quick think, and then once you thought, turn to the person next to you and share... Um, all, about all the things you have and how did you come about to have them. Okay, so have a quick think and then discuss. <coughs> Okay, so hopefully you've kind of had a, had a quick chat about the things you've had and how you've come about having them. Would anyone like to share how they came about having the things that they had at all? Anyone feeling brave at all? Anyone? Anyone? Yes, Bonnie. Hard work. Hard work, hard work. Okay, anything else? Anyone else got anything else to add to that? We've got hard work. Prayer. Prayer. Prayer, okay, thank you very much. Anything else? Good luck and fortune. Good luck and fortune, okay, thank you. Anything else? Love. Pardon? Love. Love, okay, yeah. Parents, yeah, Tony at the back. Good health. Good health, or through health, yeah. Gifts from others. Okay, wonderful. So actually, that was a lot more than I thought you were going to say. Uh, so that was wonderful, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Um, so there are many different ways that we've come about achieving things. And when I thought about this, uh, the first thing that came to me was from either the hard work that I put in or inevitably from my parents. Uh, so there were the two ways that I came about having the things that I had, from either my parents or from hard work. And very much I was told, put the hard work in, you get the rewards out. So I need a few volunteers because I would like, as it's harvest, I know I'm a little bit behind on my gardening, but I thought now is a really good time to plant some flowers. So this might need a little bit of a group effort, everyone here. So there are a few things that I need, okay? And they are scattered around. So I will need a flower pot. I will need some soil. I'm going to need some seeds. And I'm going to need some water. So by all means, have a look. They'll be somewhere in this church. See where they are. Try and find where they are, and if you could bring them to me, that would be wonderful. <clears throat> That's my water. Thank you so much. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you. <clears throat> the seeds might be the harder one, or not, uh, to find. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right, I've got my seeds. I've got my flower pot. I'll turn it that way. It looks a bit cleaner. Thank you, my seeds. Thank you, soil. Thank you very much. Right, so I've got this, this, and this, but I'm going to need some help doing this as well. So, um, yeah, come on up. Why not? Come on up. Let's just help. Um, just don't tell Sarah we get soil on the, on the carpet. It's fine. Okay, so I need some of the soil into the flower pot first. So if you like to put some of the soil into the flower pot. Is it coming yeah, It'll be a bit wet. It's fine. It's okay. Fresh from the uh, garden. Yeah. That's fine. Put it in. Get it in there. Wonderful. Okay. Could you open up the seeds for me, please? Thank you so much. Okay, we got enough. There might be some worms in there, but that's okay. Worms are good. 
They're good. If there is a word, okay, I think that'll be good for the soil. Thank you so much. Brush your hands into there so uh, don't get a mess. We can just blame Suzanne for the uh, mess on the carpet. It's fine. It's youth ministers don't ever make mess. You see, this is this is the way it is. Okay, wonderful. And so we've got some seeds. Okay, so if you could put some seeds in. All of them. Yeah, put all the seeds in. Uh, these these are really rare seeds called rice seeds. Yeah. Yeah, because we, uh, we didn't have the seeds we thought we had, so we're improvising. Okay, wonderful. They look a bit like rice. Yeah, that's because they are rice, but shh, don't tell everyone. Okay, wonderful. And if we could put a bit of... There we go, we'll turn that up. Okay, that's wonderful. Thank you very much. And then if you could put some water into there, because obviously now we've got our seeds in, magical things of rice seeds. Magical. And then pour a little bit of water in. Give it all. Okay, I think that would do. That would do. It doesn't need to be the whole thing. Uh, that's all right, don't worry about it. It's soaking there, that's fine. Okay, okay, wonderful, thank you very much. So, we've done some really hard work. We've found everything that we need, okay? We've got the, f we, we've got the flower pot, we've got the soil, we've got the rice, we've got the water. It's all right, it will soak through. Okay, so, we've done some really hard work. So now, are you going to grow them? No. No? Why aren't they growing? We've done all the hard work. Because it takes... We need to wait. It takes a lot of time. It takes, like... Plus, plus the seeds aren't actually seeds, they're rice. <laughs> These are magical rice seeds. Rice. How else do you get rice, you know? Okay, so, but, so although we've watered it and everything, we've, we've now got to wait. So we've still got a bit more hard work to do. Would you say we've got a bit of hard work to do yes. left? Uh, okay. Well, you just sit down but you've got to carry on watering it, don't you? Okay, wonderful. If you could all go sit down for me, please, that'd be wonderful. Thank you very much. Give them a round of applause. Thank you very much. Hi, welcome. <clears throat> okay, so we have our flower pot, we did the hard work, um, and they're not going to grow straight away, yes, because it's rice, but more importantly, because we still have some hard work left to do. We still got to water it every other day, we've got to make sure it's in the right conditions. So ultimately, with this flower pot, I'm very much in control as to what goes on. It's depending on how much I water it. If I overwater it, I'll kill it. If I don't water it at all, it just won't grow. So there is a balance. But I'm the one who controls where, how this grows, how it functions. But if we put this onto a much larger scale, say if we wanted to be on a field, and so we're planting a harvest on the fields, obviously we'll do the hard work, we'll churn over the earth, we'll plant the seeds, but then after that, it's very much out of our control. Because there's no way, if I've got multiple fields, there's no way I could water all the fields and give them as much water as that they need. Because that water bill would just be uber expensive. So I'm then having to be reliant on the weather conditions to be right, to make sure that there is enough rain happening and that there's enough sun happening. But also relying on the fact that wild animals aren't going to come and churn up the grass, or as they're coming up to a nice crop of harvest that we will have, that people don't come in and knock it down. So there will be many things that are outside of my control. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and so therefore we have, to be prov we have to rely on God to provide for us. Uh, to provide the good weather, the conditions, and everything else that is required to help the crops grow. And unfortunately, we kind of live in a culture that likes this flower pot idea. They ver we very much like to be in control, rather than being like a field and being reliant on God to provide and to be in control. And the truth is, everything that we have, everything that, has been, that we've achieved has been given to us by the gifts that God has given us. <coughs> Excuse me. And so everything has been made possible by God, and therefore all thanks should be given to him who made it possible. Now my question to you earlier was how did you come about with everything that you had? And so hard work was one of the things, and obviously parents was, was another thing. And so children are very obviously reliant on you as parents. Uh, they, re they need a home, they need food, they need clothing, none of which that they can do without the provision that you give to them. They might be able to earn and have a bit of pocket money and then, you know, go buy something for themselves, but they are largely dependent and reliant on, on you as parents for their, for their basic needs um, <coughs> and a bit more. 
And so just as children are dependent on us as adults, us as parents, we too as adults are dependent on God because he's the one who gives us everything. He's given us the gifts and the abilities that we have. The jobs that you have, the abilities you have, the gifts that you have, yes, you've worked at, but he is the one who has initially given it to, to us. And so just as you as parents have the right you know, to whatever you give to your children, you can take back off them if you want to, um, or decide what happens to it, or, or to those gifts, God in the same way asks us and says the same thing. He says, these are the gifts that I've given you. Work with them. Do something good with them. But hold lightly to what you have. Because everything that you have is that I've given to you. And actually, if I give you this gift, work it, make it good, and then bless others who may not have this gift. And so, you know, I'm not necessarily the best of all speakers, but I'm a good at speaking-ish. Um, but there are others who are better, there are others who are worse. But through the gift of speaking, we can encourage people. We can encourage them um, to do many wonderful different things. If you're creative, I mean, I couldn't play and do what they do. And that's a gift. Um, you would leave if I started playing that. Um, and so that is a gift. And how much does that bless us to be able to worship using instruments? So the gifts that they have, they are using to bless us. And that is the same thing that what God is asking for us. So everything that we have, he has given in order that we are able to bless other people. And this was very much the thing about harvest. <coughs> Excuse me. This is very much the thing about harvest, is that it's about sharing what we have with those who have less than ourselves. Because they said, when you pull in the harvest, celebrate. It's going to be a week. It's a week-long celebration of harvest and giving thanks to God. Because, as I said... Once you've planted everything in the fields, it's all very much out of your control. And so therefore, you've got to be reliant on God to bring the rain, make sure that it's nice weather conditions, make sure it's not too hot, not too cold. And that is the same for everything that we do. But as I said, we're in this culture where we do it all ourselves and we forget about what God has given us. <coughs> so... When it comes to harvest, and I'm going to come into land here, um, so just as they used to do at harvest time, in sharing with those who had less than themselves, and it's also very much what the early church did, in sharing their belongings to ensure that everyone could benefit from God's gifts. So the gifts that you have, the abilities you have, yes, they have been given to you, but they've been given to you so that you may bless someone else. And we are very blessed to live in the place that we live in. And so, as we leave here, as it is this harvest time, what can we do? There is much that we already do to bless other people. But what is it that we can do to bless those? Do we know people who might have a little bit less than ourselves? Obviously, all this wonderful food we have is definitely going to go and bless loads and loads of people, which is absolutely amazing. But is there people down your street? Do you know your neighbour? Do you know the person next to you? So, everything we have is a gift from God. So, hold lightly onto what we have. It was one of the prayers that we actually said earlier, which I didn't know we were going to pr uh, pray about. But it was about holding on to everything we have lightly. Because when we follow God, God may say, hey, that Ferrari you have, give it to someone else. Just, just give it to them as a blessing. You know, that, that lovely apple pie that you've made looks really good, but actually, why don't you bless it and give it to someone else? So God will maybe sometimes ask us to give something away in order to bless others and is that not what it is about is that we are about being a blessing to others just as that's what it is about at harvest time sharing what we have with those who maybe have less than ourselves amen thank you very much okay so one thing we <clears throat> we're looking